Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on 790 The Bet. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency and Wally Hatchet's Comfort Food and Drinks at 6439 Summer Avenue. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. Hello to all you folks in uh, Brownsville on 1520 AM and 95.3 FM. Of course, News Talk 101.5 in Jackson. And, of course, right here in Memphis on uh, AM 790, we talk outdoors every Saturday morning, rolling into our 22nd year on the air, fastest 90 minutes in outdoor radio programming. And and, uh, I'll tell you what, I'm looking forward to this next guest, uh, Bo Dotley, not only did he do some great uh, auctioneer, did he? Did he? He did sell that duck call to to Ron for four hundred, right? Four hundred dollars. Okay, Ron's got the duck call. Ron, yes. I've got I've got the trip with the uh, Buck Commanders for ten. Yeah. Okay, right. so I'm on that. I, but, I hear um, you. <laughs> glad to have with us uh, Jordan Summit. He is the executive producer for Buck uh, Buck Commander. Good morning, Jordan. Good morning. How are y'all? <laughs> I know you guys are in Kansas and doing all this filming and everything, but. Uh, I got to talk to you about uh, a, a dream job here, man, for a, a young man growing up in Arkansas and then moving to Louisiana. And uh, all of a sudden, uh, you get a call from uh, somebody named Willie and said, uh, <laughs> Would you like to do something different? And uh, when you get that call, talk about how you got to be in this position, Jordan, because it's, uh, I know a lot of folks out there keep up with, with the Buck Commander and you guys have, great TV shows and all sorts of things going on, uh, and you're a valuable part of that team. What's what's it feel like when you started and where you guys are now? Man, I I, I still feel like the the 20 year old young man. You know, every <laughs> every opening day uh, yes. that we have now. But but you know, I've, I've been working here for about 17, 18 years now, and uh, just still love it as much as I did day one. But very, very blessed. I've uh, been, you know, given the opportunity to work for these guys and the family here and just a just bunch of great people and um, truly, truly thankful for it. Um, yeah, I, I, funny how I got involved with it was uh, back in the early 2000s. I was in high school going into college and uh, a big fan of, of the Duck Commander. Uh, it was VHS back then. Yes. Tapes. <laughs> Now you're talking now. Okay. Yep. And, right. and then we, I've watched those in our hunting camps, and I, I, I thought I was a big duck hunter. Real, wasn't really, but thought I was, and did everything, bought everything that Phil Robertson promoted on his tapes, and all of that. And uh, anyway, once I got into college, you know, you're trying to figure out what you're going to do with your life, right? Right. And, yes. And and man, I just really love to hunt, and uh, kind of a kind of a I don't want to call it a nerd, but kind of a nerd with with computers and and uh an art major at the time and said, art man, major. Be fun to okay art major yep. yes and uh thought man you know it'd be fun is to be their camera guy i would love to video hunt Tote that camera. and uh so i had switched my major over and uh started you know learning video production and stuff like that and uh Eventually, one day I was like, "Man, you know, I'd love to get like a job shadow. That'd be really cool, That's cool. With, with a hunting show." So I, I just just cold called an email basically to uh, the Duck Commander website at the time. Yes, and you know, said who I was, said the college I went to. Uh, you know, would love to get the opportunity to maybe do a job shadow or something like that. And a couple of days later, I got an email back from a guy named Willie Robertson. Oh, and. <laughs> I was like, and, and it was funny at the time. I had no idea who he was. Oh, all right. He, he was. He wasn't. You know, this is before Duck Dynasty. This oh, is yeah, before all yeah, the yeah. He was fame Willie. and everything he was just, like that. Was, yeah, and so he, uh, you know, he would make a brief appearance in those old VHS tapes, but <laughs> didn't see him a whole lot. You know, but but little did I know he was the one running the business. Yes, he was. And yeah. uh, anyway, so he was kind of the man behind the scenes, making everything happen. And uh, anyway. Um, he, he said, man, we would love to have you. He said, I actually went to that same college and uh, for a little while. And he said, for a little while. That, 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 that sounds like, yeah. What college was yeah, that? Yeah, college? yeah, for a little while. He transferred. But what what he, he college was that? College. It, was fun. it was Harding University. In okay, Cersei, Arkansas. Cersei, Arkansas. Yeah. You, you, were, a, yep, you yep. were a bison. Okay. I was, right. I was. I know all these nicknames. Okay, all right, <laughs> all right. And uh, anyway, he... He still says to this day the only reason he answered that email was because my 
email had a, a Harding address on it. Oh, <laughs> so he said I probably would have thrown it away if I hadn't seen the Harding. He said that's what got you the the gig. And anyway, I ended up uh, coming in Being for a job part shadow. Of the team. Yeah. And 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 here we are, you know, many years later. So and now here you are in Kansas a, filming the. Uh, another episode, and uh, it looks to me like, what would you say the success of this show is, uh, Jordan? Because you've been with us so long, uh, it it looks like everybody pretty well gets along. It looks like you, they do, they you, do. And 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 early on, early on with it all, uh, it was you tough. know we yeah, we you, you were just starting. Willie, what's that? You were just starting to put this thing together. I mean, uh, that's right. And, and early on, you know, I thought I was just getting in on the duck side, the duck man. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. And, and not long into my, my job there, Willie said, hey, I'm fixing to start a a new show called Buck Man. We're going to do the same thing with deer. He said, I got a bunch of baseball player buddies that love to deer hunt. And Willie wasn't much of a deer hunter at all either. <laughs> uh, he, 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 and really he, and he'll tell you that like he wasn't much of a deer hunter he 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 enjoyed it but it was just one of those things if one happened to walk by he'd go he'd go after it but but he's a business um, he's sharp businessman though he's, so. a, he's a businessman so yeah. anyway he uh he ended up starting buck commander with all of his friends and um it's just a tight tight-knit group and and that's where we met bo dotley he he met him and Bo's been one of my good friends for a long time and filmed a bunch of hunts with us. And like I said, it was just, there's, there's endless amount of stories. We were sharing some with our, our guys here in Kansas where we're scouting at this week. I can week. imagine. I can imagine. And, uh, yeah, a lot of, a lot of fun times. You're making memories, buddy. And, uh, That's and right. it looks like you're having fun. Uh, and not all, it's, it's not all easy too. I mean, uh, a lot of folks, it, as, as I know Mr. Dance here, we, I call him Mr. Dance, but of course, uh, for all these bloopers, there are some good shows that come out of it, you know, so I know uh-huh. you, you guys with the camera like that, you're the key part of this thing, man. I mean, uh, uh, people overlook what you guys do because the other guys are out there doing all the other stuff, but uh, your job, what, how would you describe what you do? Well, uh, what what I like to say is that um, <laughs> that what I take what I take pride in is that when you if you were to go out by yourself, yeah, and and shoot a deer or a turkey or a duck or anything, and it's just you by yourself, and all you have is that memory. It's just a memory inside your head. There you go. And yeah. what I specialize in is I can take that memory and I can make it a visual for everyone you know yes. for a lifetime. Yes. You know. Yeah. And so it, it's just literally something you can go back and watch it again and again and again and, and not have to just replay certain events in your head, you know. It's amazing. So it, 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 it's, amazing. it's a lot of fun. And so are you guys working on what now? I mean, how far out are you working? Uh, say you're in Kansas this weekend. What's When will we see this? I mean, how long out do you work? Uh, we're, we're scouting right now, getting ready. You know, Kansas opens up in like a week, so we're kind of scouting, getting everything ready. Uh-huh. And uh, – you know, doing all of that, and so, you know, now we we, we moved away on there. We kind of moved to YouTube, kind of trying to stay with the times. And yeah, so I, I, you know, sometimes we'll we'll take an episode and we'll put it out the week after we get done hunting it. Or really depends okay. on if we've got a neat storyline that follows something else. We may hold it for a little while and place it next year. It's just really just kind of the 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 footage or content, so to speak, kind of dictates what we do with it. And how many are so, y'all on? Uh, will you take like on this something like this? How many uh, do you have there? Uh, right now, it, it's just me and Willie in camp, and That's then we're with some of his friends from church. Okay, so we're That's what I yeah. It's, this is yeah. This is kind of a single single buck commander trip, but. You know, uh, as far as our group goes, we do two to three group hunts a year. You do, yeah. All over the country, yes. whether it be Texas, Louisiana, Kansas, Missouri. We we try to get our whole group together two or three times a year and just have a big old time. And Amazing group, It's a lot too. of fun. Folks, y'all, you need to go to uh, Buck Commander. Uh, what is it, BuckCommander.com? Is that right? Uh, yep, BuckCommander.com. And, and see all the crew, and you can see uh, uh, Jordan on that. And, of course, uh this show goes into Searcy, Arkansas, so maybe somebody you may owe money to may hear this. I don't know, Jordan. There you better you watch go, it over go. there uh, <laughs> because uh, we all go through Searcy going to the Little Red and Heber Springs over that yep. area. So we know yep. we know Harding and uh, College and Harding University and all of them over there. Jordan, we appreciate yeah. you, man, being with us on Outdoors with Larry Ray. Really fun. Uh, hope to get you on again down the road. And uh, 
maybe we can coach Billy uh, Willie to come on with you because he might need an interpreter. I don't know. Yeah, but, um, yeah. He uh, he got some stories to tell. He so does we'll, that. We'll see if we can line that up. All right, buddy. Thank you, Jordan. Y'all have a great weekend. Safe travels. We'll talk to you down the road, okay? Okay. Thank you all. Thank Take you, care. man. All right. Jordan Summit, executive producer for Buck Commander. Uh, what a job. Uh yeah, um, you know, that whole family uh, is pretty entertaining to yes. begin with, so it's got to be a lot of fun to work with them. They, they really are, and not only that, they are they uh, are families of faith. They are and, that. And it's yes, amazing. Yeah, what they've done and just, uh, now, when you think about it, now think about that. He just sent an email in on their website and yeah. got the job, and it changed his life. Well, so, you know, I mean, the thing I've learned in life is if you don't ask anybody, you never get anything. Well, so you no, know, that's ask. exactly right. Well, I think that's the same way with guests on this show. <laughs> <laughs> They'll say, I was on Outdoors, Larry. What were you on that show for, man? You know, I mean, uh, but anyway, it was uh, great. And again, go to that buck, buckcommander.com and see Jordan. And we thank Bo Dotley for uh, or setting that interview up. And I thought it was Harding. Uh, we've we've already had Autos, uh, Arkansas Monticello. Now we've had Harding. Bow Weevils, Bison. I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're going to test that Bow Weevil again at the very, uh, very end of the show. But we're going to talk here in just a few minutes about an event that Ron will be at next weekend. Uh, hope to have Dance Bill Dance on maybe next week's show because uh, boy, Bill loves this event coming up next weekend. Uh, the Monsters uh, of the Mississippi River. Monsters Catfishing Tournament, but uh, uh, go to buck, go to BuckCommander.com and see the crew. Those guys really have fun together. It's obvious they like what they're doing uh, and they're entertaining, but at the same time, it's a family show. They have a lot of fun things in there, uh, information-wise, too. And you think about ducks, and they didn't know nothing about deer, as he said. Right, right. But he's smart. And been able to do stuff like that. So uh, I appreciate it. All right. Hey, can we take an early break here? Uh, uh, let's take an early break because I want to get really fired up about this next event, too. And I need a break. So we'll take a break and we'll be right back. And uh, don't hang on because John Gordon is going to introduce the last segment. Okay? Hang on for that. We'll be right back. <laughs> 